Hey everyone, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. You'll have to forgive me. The camera is a little bit shorter. Last video I dropped a tree on the tripod and snapped the bottom three legs. So it's a little bit lower. But anyways, today I'm going to show you a method I do. May work for you, may not work for you. Uh, to cut firewood exactly the same length. Now they make a lot of tools and people use all types of stuff. There's things called the Mingo markers. People use tape measures. It's really simple. I'll show you what I do. I cut all my firewood uh, for an outdoor boiler, so I don't cut 16 inch pieces, but you can apply this same principle um, for your conventional firewood pieces. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, everybody, so this is our outdoor boiler. This is our central boiler CL604, a uh, outdoor non-gasification unit. We're gonna be firing this thing up pretty soon. But anyways, getting right into it. Look at that, wow, nice and oil coated. We oil coated this, uh, months ago i'm actually gonna make a video on that but anyways that's not today's video purpose of this the firebox let me bring you in close. all right so this is the firebox if you're not familiar with how an outdoor boiler works i have a whole playlist but to the very back wall of this unit to the front lip is roughly five feet five feet uh be right here see 60 inches let me go all the way back now what firewood length i burnt i cut my wood at is generally uh, cut my firewood at is about um, 30 or so inches. So that would be, give or take, <clears throat> that would be right here. The reason I cut my firewood at 30 inches is I don't know how well you can see. Let me bring you in actually closer. So in the back of the unit here, we have this um, piece that comes down. I'm not sure the official term, but from that piece to here is 48 inches. So the reason I cut my firewood at 30 inches, let me, uh, so I put the tape measure at 30 inches. Let me rest it down there. So the reason I cut my firewood at 30 inches is because A, it's easier to handle, and B, 30 inches is before that drop down. If I burn logs behind that, all the heat is just going pretty much out the chimney. It's a waste of time and energy. So that's the reason why I cut my firewood at about 30 inches. If it's wood I have to split, it'll be 24 because that's the max of my outdoor boiler. But now let me show you um, my little trick. That's just the reason why. Now we're gonna cover um, how I do it. All right, folks, so this is my Husqvarna 257. This has, you guessed it, this has a 30 inch bar on it. Now, obviously, from, the cut, from your filling dogs here to your very tip is how long you can actually cut firewood. So from the end of my felling spikes here to the tip is about 27 inches. So what I do, I go from this back bar nut here to the front of the bar. That'll give me 30 inches. So remember that distance. 30 inches is from this nut to the tip. Now, let me swap this out with my other saw and I will show you uh, the same thing. All right, through the magic of Hollywood, this is um, my Echo CS 590. Now again, this has a 20 inch bar on it, but from the felling spike to the very edge is only 18 inches. So 30 inches, again, is our magical number that we cut for firewood. Um, if I was to go from basically the tip of the saw to the back, it would be this line here. Now let me zoom you guys in and show you. So I have a line right there, Sharpie, from that point to the tip of the bar is 30 inches. And on the Husky, it's from the back nut to the end of the bar is also 30 inches. Now let me go ahead and show you how that, uh, how that makes a difference when I'm cutting firewood. Also, fun fact, for this saw, if I need to cut firewood that I'm splitting, from this felling mark to here, to the end of the tip, is 24 inches. That's the max I can get on my wood splitter. So if I'm cutting big logs that need to be split, I'll do the same thing. I line up this mark here to the end of the bar and cut. Now let me go show you, and it all makes sense. All right, so we're gonna pretend I was getting ready to cut this log. So again, if I was to rest my chainsaw and line up this back bar nut to the end of the log, Right where my tip is, is where I would cut. So then I would transition like this, cut it. My second, same thing with the second log, move over, put the bar nut there, leave the tip, transition, and cut. So let's demonstrate that for all you people in the back, maybe not listening.
good. So let's do some quality control here. Put my thumb at the very end. Thirty. Let's try. Uh, let's try this one over here. That one's a little bit shy. Yeah, twenty-nine and a half for that one. Thirty. Again, doesn't matter. Close enough for me. All right, everybody. So let's wrap up. Um, again, real simple. It's toolless. Just use the saw. I mean, if you're getting, I mean, I, some of them are twenty-nine and three quarters, twenty-nine and a half, thirty and a quarter. For my sake, it doesn't matter out, because the outdoor boiler, like I showed you in the beginning, I could fit a, almost a five-foot log in there, uh, so it doesn't really matter for me. But thirty inches for me, plus or minus. Um, it's good to stack, it's good to handle, it's not too heavy, it burns quite a bit. Uh, a lot of people are like, yeah, you know, put a four foot by, you know, 25 inch log in there. It's like, cool. Am I going to get to Kubota at, you know, 12 o'clock at night before bed, you know, <laughs> to go lift these huge logs? And no, I'm going to cut pretty much to the maximum that I can safely handle. And 30 inches seems to be the key for that machine. Uh, but anyways... We're going to be running that machine coming up. Uh, it is almost wood heat season. Thank God. I'm actually sweating now. It's still pretty warm out for October. It's incredible. But yeah, we're going to be starting that machine up soon. The x-ray, the x-ray, the excavator is days away. So I can't wait for that. We've got an excavator coming. Um, but yeah, without further ado, guys, really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think. You can do the same logic for 16 inch firewood. You can measure from the tip of the bar down 16 inches. Put a line, grind a little mark in your bar, put a sharpie mark, whatever, you know, piece of duct tape. Doesn't matter. And just like I, like you saw me, I use the saw, turn and cut. I use the nose actually as a pivot. So as you saw, I put the bar down and then I pivot and cut. Bar down, pivot and cut, whatever. Two each their own. Three rights make a left. Doesn't matter to me. This is what I do. It puts me within plus or minus an inch and that's good enough for me. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, enough jibber jabbering. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, again, if you're not as OCD as I am, this will work to get you by. But yeah, like I always say, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we will see you out in the woods.